parental obligations when we involve ourselves in sex because we know the repercussions of sex. Shanta, you yourself just attested. Wait, Shanta, under, Listen, under the host's Don't argument, interrupt me, ma'am. Don't interrupt me, ma'am. You. All right, go ahead. Okay, you so given the fact that, given the fact that, as you just attested, the, the reason why we have sex, right, it's for reproduction. That was the biological right? function. Don't straw man exactly. us. Exactly, but because sex is a biological function. Right? It's not. That's a dehumanizing no. take because for humans, sex is more than a biological function. Is sex a biological function? Yes or no? No, no, no. There's more than that. You're saying that take because you're, you're denying that. You're denying no, that. It's an that's I'm not that. denying that. You, you guys are, are actually denying the other reasons that people have sex. It's a biological function. No, it's not a biological function. It's a process that leads to a biological function. Is it our biology that gets our penis? erect is it a biological function that gets our penis erect uh wait we're it can also wait, be wait, a psychological function as well. but wait it is wait, biological wait. yes but it is psychological. Be psychological i don't need the deflection i need yes or no answers i need yes or no answers i don't want the interruption I from nobody oh, we interrupt, interrupt just as much Donta. don't even Kenzie, Kenzie, i'm going to be having a conversation with you and you solely and I'm going to ask you questions, and I need yes or no answers. Is the erection of a penis a biological function? Not simply a biological function. It yes does... or no? Yes or no? You're... And then you can elaborate. And the answer is no, because it's also a no. psychological okay. response as well. <laughs> and through your psychology, okay, thank you. there's biological and... things that happen. Wait, if Shanta was only going to be addressing so... Kenzie, it would only be fair if they had a 1v1. I don't think it should be like a 3v1 if she doesn't want okay, to speak cool. to the rest of us. All right, I'll talk to you afterwards. You can You're right back. about that one. You guys can come back. Go ahead. Okay, so is it that what causes a penis to get erect? Since you say it's a psycholog psychological um, I said aspect it's both, as well, Shanta, what causes it? Go ahead and make your point. You just said it's a psychological aspect as well I as, as biological. Yes. Uh, yes, it is psychological as well as biological, just as much. Where is your psyche sex. located? Where is your let psyche me, located? Let me finish my sentence before you speak. You when it comes no. to sex, sex serves more than just biological functions. They also serve psychological and social functions. But my whole issue with this argument is that you are essentially presenting a naturalistic fallacy. Like Naomi, Naomi already said, you aren't bridging the is ought. That because this is a biological function, therefore you ought to sustain it. Okay, so... What you just said is absolute garbage. What causes? Where is our psyche located? Where is our psyche located? The brain. Our brain is a brain a biological thing. What does that mean? Is it a biological thing? Where is? Kenzie, you know exactly what I mean. No, I is don't. Is our brain part of our biology? It's a part of our anatomy. Okay, and our anatomy is what? Part of what? Shanta, why don't you go ahead and make your is, point? What is our anatomy? Is that our, our anatomy is a part of our biology? Interrogation shit. Make your point. Okay, so everything in our body is biological. So whether or not it's a psychological or it's a whatever kind of reason, our bodies, as long as it has to do with our body, it's biological. So sex is a biological thing. It's biological. So the fact that when we have sex, a biological process, comes from that which is pregnancy if we're having sex the way nature intended it right and if our bodies are don't doesn't have any kind of defects as women are men the natural biological process of intercourse is pregnancy and because of pregnancy and anybody who becomes pregnant has a parental obligation because no child goes in crawls into the womb and presents itself there the parents put it there whether it is by force or by consent. So parental obligation is a must. And if we are pregnant with our offspring, parental obligation comes into play, even in the wild. Unless you're going to say we should be like dogs who eat our young, we have to take care of our offspring. That is it. Now tell me why do you think it's okay to murder babies in the womb? That's what I want to well, hear. Number one, I don't think that it is murder. Number two, I don't think that anyone has a right to use your body to sustain their own life. 
Okay, so I'm asking you, what is the, where is the uterus located in the woman's body and what purpose does it say, serve? Uh, it's located in the pelvis and it serves many functions. It can be for hormone regulation, it is for blood flow, it is for structural integrity of the what pelvis. What is the main function of the uterus? What does I it contain? Solicit, Shanta, would you like to write it down? No, I, it's okay. I mop floors at a hospital. I I, I kind of know about these things. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So the main purpose of the woman's, um, re, the main purpose of the uterus is the woman's reproductive organs, right? It's the woman's reproductive organs. So if the uterus is there and it is used to host the baby, the mother can't say the baby is feeding off her body because she placed it there again, whether by goodwill or force. She placed it there because after an essay victim is essayed, it is imperative that we use our bodily autonomy since women like to trump the man from my body. Bodies to go and make adult responsible decisions that we do not endanger our bodies, right? By having a late term abortion because we were forced upon and we waited a little bit too long. Late term abortions are a little bit more difficult and can present a lot of serious side effects right for the woman she might become barren there might be bleeding all kind of um things can happen to her right all kind of things so it is it's imperative that we use our bodily autonomy and or use our bodies to make the right choices if we're forced upon we should go to the hospital we should take the necessary steps to ensure that we do not become pregnant if it is that we do not want to have children at all or we're not ready for a pregnancy do not indulge in an act that would make us become pregnant so you said a lot there. Let me go ahead and unpack it. I would actually uh, disagree with you that the main function of the uterus is to house a child. I would argue that it as is actually. Is it the for woman's reproductive organ? One second. Let me finish. I let you go on a one minute rant. Uh, when it comes to not every person chooses to get pregnant and have a child. However, every uterus bearing person does use their uterus for blood flow, hormone regulation, as well as the structural integrity of the pelvis, which, again, you just presented a naturalistic fallacy that because this happens in nature, therefore we ought to use it. So again, you have, again, I'm not finished. You said a lot, so I would really like to address these points. So this entire biological... Uh, argument that you make is just a naturalistic fallacy. I doubt you can I ground your parental obligation. Can I, can I, can I, can the I uterus can I doesn't it? sustain the pelvis, the pelvic bone does. And the uterus helps to regulate the hormones and all these blood flow, everything so, because of it being the reproductive organs, which is specifically there to get pregnant. So again, you proved me right. That, that's Go incorrect. ahead, girls. Okay, I'm going to talk. So to simplify this, to simplify this, um, a lot of pro-choices pro usually ask pro-lifers and pro-birthers what solution we have. So can we can we agree that the only way to solve this is just to not have sex? As simple as that. No. No, okay, because then, then abstinence will, then only preaching find, does not work. Let, let, let me expand solution. a little bit on my no, point. No, 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 let no, me no, expand no, a little bit finished. on my I'm point. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Okay, Hold go on. ahead. Hold on. So if, if we can't agree to to and i'm not talking about of course we're not talking about essay victims and we're not talking about children and we're not talking about in, uh well actually incest too but generally the, the let's talk about the vast majority of the women that get abortions the solution to that would be to abstain from sex as a whole as unrealistic as it may seem to a lot of you that's the only solution because you you guys constantly ask for a solution a solution this a so if you don't want us to have an abortion well what do you want us to do the logical, the most logical answer would to be would be to not to have sex. So, with that being said, if you can't get with that, then you guys will never have a solution. You guys will never have an answer, and you guys will always just be baby murderers. That's it. Uh, no, I actually have a lot of pragmatic policies that we could put into place. One second, I would like to respond. I would like to respond to. I would like to respond. Why is it so hard to allow me to get to have the space to speak? Go ahead, Kenzie. So Go if ahead. we look at states who 
who use abstinence only preaching as sex health education, they have the highest rates of teen pregnancies and abortions. So preaching abstinence only actually increases abortions. If we're going to look at pragmatic policies that actually will reduce abortion, it is comprehensive sex education. It is public funding of IUDs as well as other contraceptives. It is expansive to health care to marginalized communities. It would be uh, free daycare, free health or excuse me, uh, subsidized daycare, health care, paid maternity and paternity leave, as well as a UBI. Those things would actually have meaningful mm-hmm. effects on and the that, abortion that, numbers. This from the so I there's a lot that, that we can do. Ever since that sex education was introduced, the teen rate for pregnancy, the pregnancy rate has gone up, abortion rate has gone up Tell since sex education became introduced. And we can Tell also argue that... Oh, Google is free. And we can also argue that... My source um, is the CDC. My source is the CDC. And the more comprehensive sex education there is, the less pregnancy there is. Mackenzie. 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 My name is Kenzie. My name is Kenzie. Okay, sir, ma'am. Okay, sir, ma'am. Okay. I just allowed you to finish. I muted myself. Do that. Do that, too. Just shut up. Okay. Given the fact that teen pregnancies have gone up ever since the introduction of... So we can argue that teen pregnancy has gone up ever since the introduction of sex education. It has skyrocketed. Given the fact that in the 50s, the 60s, we didn't have this high alarming rate of teen pregnancy. And ever since the introduction of sex education is when we start to see teen pregnancy rise and abortion rates. Um, This woman has absolutely no argument. Abstinence does work. I've been abstinent for five years. I've not become pregnant. I don't know where these people get their logic from, but it is certainly not anywhere near having any kind of rational thinking. People, the fact of the matter is, Kenzie cannot justify why it is that we should kill our babies. She has no reason why she can can tell us. You see, I allow this woman to monologue for like two minutes. I don't, mon- I don't monologue, Shanta. I have very concise points. You're the one who monologues and just projects. What, what are you your points? Have, I'm you asking can't you. Can't you just said that the uterus is a naturalistic fallacy. Just because you say it's a naturalistic fallacy doesn't make it one. You just said the uterus upholds the pelvis. And that is what the pelvic bone does. You have absolutely no argument, Kenzie. You just like to speak a lot of things while saying absolutely you just saying that doesn't prove anything, Shanta. I'll ask you specific questions, and you did not answer it. You deflected. I did answer and them. Asked, I did not uh, deflect. Uh, 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 okay, you answered it. I'm going to wait for the answer now. Is sex a natural biological function? Just yes or no. A biological function? What do you mean? It's it's a social interaction. You see what I mean? She doesn't answer yeah, questions. She's saying it's a social it's interaction. Like social okay, Kenzie. Okay, so you're saying that, that sex, like. Kenzie, Kenzie, let me finish. You're saying that sex is a social interaction. That means when I say hi yeah. and I'm being social to people on the street, we just had sex. When I say to somebody, goodbye, yeah, take care of yourself, more, we just had more. sex. When I say to somebody, who is your day today? Sex is a type of social sex. interaction. Kenzie, does not mean that all social Mackenzie. interactions are Mackenzie. sex. Mackenzie. Like, you you make really, absolutely oh, girl, no sense. You are just Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Wait, wait, I want to ask Kenzie a question. Kenzie, are you a liberal? I'm, I'm just curious. No. Okay. Just curious. Um. Anyways. Um, Jojo, I need this to too, please. You said what? Give this clip to where she said sex is a social interaction. So no, no, no. I, I just, in just, just Shanta, so I literally good. said sex is a type of social interaction, and you ran with it that all social interactions are sex. Like you, so, you so strong that. Like that was embarrassing for you. Um, I audience, we just had sex. Um, don't come to me with the babies, right? Because oh, I use a screen oh. protector. Why? So I I, why would I even bother shoes. with you? Like, ugh. Okay, anyways, like I was saying, so, um, Kenzie, I, I really just want to know, like, why do you feel like we need to look at the, like, obviously sex is a biological function made to reproduce. Why are we looking at it from a social standpoint? Because obviously 
if it's because okay, humans are social creatures. Yes, that's true. But but we're you're, we're using that to dehumanize children. That like I, I don't agree no, with that. You are actually the one that is dehumanizing. I would argue that you are anthropomorphi- uh, course, anthropomorphizing you call, you call embryos. Me, you, call, you call me a misogynist. You call me a transphobe. You call me everything in the book. I don't care what you care to call it. You guys want to deflect from everything so you can do everything in your power to make that baby feel like it's not a human. So I don't really care what you have to say <laughs> about my stance on it. I don't care what you call me a bigot, a, a misogynist, a transphobe. I haven't called you any of those things. I presented yes, an yes, argument. Yes, and and yes, now and now, I, now you're getting you now you're getting pissed because you don't have a retort I'm for it. Off. That's fine. I'm not pissed off. You call You me are. Me. Then, well, so then address my statement. Here. Address oh, my I'm statement that I said you guys are dehumanizing sex and anthropomorphizing embryos and fetuses. Address that. You're gonna act like I don't know who you are. I don't know who okay. you are. I've had many well, conversations. Well, I, remember I don't you know are. I remember who ignorant you people are. Very well. I remember ignorant people very well. I, I was in your live and you called me a misogynist. I said, if that's what you want to call it, then so be it. I don't care. And you said, why? Wait, you don't care? If you don't okay. care, then why are you bringing it up? Being a liar. You guys, like to, you guys like to resort to calling people shit that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I didn't about. call you any name. I said no, that I you said guys you are dehumanizing de- sex. De- this de- is de- what I said. De- I said de- you guys are dehumanizing sex, which you are. And I said that you are anthropomorphizing, uh, anthropomorphizing the fetus and the embryo. Those were critiques you for your arguments. You people, not you people you make yourself a social interaction. According to you, sex is a social interaction. That means when I say it hi is. to my neighbor, we just had sex. That Shanta, means if a little boy is to his neighbor, to say this, he just, that just had sex. Sex. You have no arguments. Okay. I, want you to get a, I want you to get a pen and paper out because this is really important. Body, because according to you, it's a social interaction. Mackenzie, you have no no arguments it's for getting a pen and paper. It's you need to speak. Okay, so we have a debate. And we have a debate you having to say you're dehumanizing or slut shaming or misogynist. Can we have a debate without you referring? Those are your takes. Those huh? are your takes. You guys just said I dehumanize a fetus. Like I would like to hear you substantiate that. And Shanta, I'm going to say this one more time, and I really hope it like sinks in. Just because sex is a type of social interaction does not mean that all sex social cannot be a interactions social interaction. It's are a biological sex. function. You make absolutely no, no sex. Sex is a biological no, function. Sorry, it is me. not a social interaction. Your arguments make absolutely no sense. And I don't even know they why do. people I listen to you. Like it's like it's stupid. Somebody to stupid. The animal comparison earlier. I'm just going to go there since somebody wants to com- compare us to animals. Why do animals have sex? Like why? Why do they? Why do they mate? So okay. So just so I want to make sure we are in the same lane, are you saying that? Like, are you trying to dehumanize this, or are you trying to add a human Since element? Because I'm you, sure that, no choices. The person that sent you this live, Jaden, don't think I didn't see that. I saw you send the live to Kenzie. I know that's yeah, where Jayden, she got it. Jaden so posted he it. Animals. He posted he, it. Discord. He I clicked it. Like you guys Him asked me to come in, and I'm here. Yeah, pro like, choice, sir. I don't know Him how you guys are so triggered. Okay, nobody. Should, you're not answering the question. She Him doesn't answer questions. Answer. I think she's Him getting seen now. Do you answer questions, Him but you guys frame them very, very poorly. To an animal, to a cow, a tarantula, and whatnot. Why do animals mate? What is the primary purpose for mating? Reproduction. Right. So. If we talk about sex and, and saying that sex is for reproduction, how is that dehumanizing sex? It doesn't matter the social construct, whatever. The what is dehumanizing? Talking. What is dehumanizing me? See, see, this is the deflecting I'm talking about. It's, it's not features, deflecting. Uh, you just species? asked me, it's how am I dehumanizing sex? And I think you that you're that. the one that said, shut I'm up. Human- shut up. You're the one that said and I'm dehumanizing shut sex. Your dirty ass pussy wait, ass wait, wait, wait. You said off. I'm dehumanizing sex. I said you're dehumanizing yes. babies because you guys like to call them clump of cells and try to get them. I don't them call them that. Huh? I don't call them. I, I don't call them that. If you would like me to substantiate my I argument, I'd be happy to. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Kenzie. So dehumanizing means that you are taking away the positive elements that makes it different from humans and animals. So we can both agree that a function of sex is for reproduction. But as humans, other functions of sex are social and psychological, which you both are completely ignoring. So you're taking those two positive elements out that distinguish sex from 
how humans engage versus how animals engage, which is dehumanizing. All right. So look. All right. So cool. Like dehumanizing, depriving a person or group of positive human qualities. Right. Yes. So dehumanizing sex. Frivolous sex with everybody. What is positive about that? It's literally just a biological process. What is positive about going around having frivolous sex with everybody? Why since, are you since framing you it? Not, uh, it can bring that psychological that well-being. That it can be social happiness. Can be. It can. I, I'm answering it for you. Uh huh. Go ahead. It can bring psychological well-being. It can be uh, social connection. It can be physically pleasurable. I mean, how many do you want? Okay, so all of these things goes to what? How is it benefiting a human being? Sex lasts for 15 minutes. Half an hour, if it's sorry, a person is Sorry, good, girl. Right? Well, okay, I don't know what kind of minutes. sex you're having. 15, 15 minutes, sex does, deprive you. 15 minutes. Sex does deprive you of energy. Hold on. So. 15 minutes, half an hour, if the person is good. How is that going to substantially benefit your life for the long run? What comes with sex? If and we're going to use sex as a really social, as, as something that is social, there's HIV, there is syphilis, there is gonorrhea, HIV there is no monkeypox, there is HIV chlamydia, HIV. there is hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, all these diseases. So if we're going to use sex as a social interaction, what is the societal benefit for humanity in having sex socially? Human connection. Okay. Human right. connection. And right, if, if yeah. we're having sex for like 15 minutes at a hookup and that connection lasts for 15 minutes, what was the benefit of society for that 15 minutes or five minutes of interaction? How I, does I've it greatly impact society? This. I've already answered this. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You Which, answered another you question. Like, answer this no, one. Here, yes, I, I wanted to answer it again. I'll answer it again for answer you, Shanta. And I think, mm-hmm. you should get a, I think you should get a pen because I really want you to take this down. Uh, so even if sex isn't in a long-term committed relationship, is with a stranger, you can have psychological benefits from that. Whether that is, uh, you know, physical touch, endorphin release, psychological mm-hmm. well-being, a positive social interaction with someone. I mean, the list can mm-hmm. go on and on. People okay. have sex for psychological we should, we should Oh, wait, wait, I would we like to ask the question in retort. I would like to ask the question in retort. Tell me, I would like to ask the question in retort. Tell me why we find rape unethical. Why do we find rape unethical? Yes. Because we're going to force ourselves on somebody, right? Why is that bad? Why is that bad? Oh, it's good to you? No, I'm I'm ask, I'm trying I'm trying to dog walk you into a point here. Tell me why that's bad. Oh, you can't dog walk me like you do your dirty oh, lying ass. Kids. The whole life. Okay, so no, I, I've destroyed your argument. You have known. So, <laughs> given the fact that if we're going to engage in in in, in forcibly infringing on somebody's right. It stands yeah, a possibility of a person contracting an HIV, having an unwanted pregnancy, right, an STI, all these other negative side effects, Let, let's right? Let's say none of that happened. Let's say that no negative biological outcome occurred. Why is rape bad? I say. Because you're forcing yourself on somebody. Why is that bad? Because people should consent to sex. Why? Kenzie, what? do you think that people should do you think that people should consent to sex? I absolutely do, and I, I'll go ahead and answer for you, Shanta. Okay, because so of the damaging no, no, psychological no, no, and social effects that rape causes. You ask me a question. No, I'm going to ask you. No, comes with psychological I'm going damages. to ask you so some questions. No, acknowledging Kenzie, that Kenzie. rape has negative effects, you are acknowledging there are psychological and social say, aspects. Thank say, you. Okay, so given the fact that rape has psychological consequences on a person, do you think that numerous one night stands has con- um, emotional and psychological consequences on people? Do you think that having multiple one night stands and getting a transmitted disease or infection has a psychological impact on a person? Do you think that having an abortion has a negative psychological impact on a person? It very much can, especially if the pregnancy was wanted. Oh, so you're saying that all these things have a negative cognizance, but here you are promoting it. I'm not out here promoting rape. 
You're here promoting abortions, frivolous I'm promoting sex, agency. One night I'm promoting Club, agency to someone. Problem, let me speak, I, Biatch. You just uh, spoke no. and, and oh, I what, let what me are speak. Do, so what are you going to do, I'm not you out here. I'm not out here. You can try and gaslight me. You can try and do other little psychological shit to everyone, but it's not going to fucking work. I can keep talking over you. So given the fact that I know that you It doesn't do anything for me. You are irrelevant in this space. You have zero you don't think for yourself. And you are very uneducated, and, and no one cares rape. about your but opinion. You, you, you just no admitted that, that frivolous sex. You just admit that numerous abortions. You just admit that one night stands and hookup culture has a negative impact on people, right? But here you are promoting no, all so of these things. Me. We are literally here promoting yeah, all so of these Shana, things. Yeah. Don't it's the same so thing that you said has yeah. a negative uh, impact on people like, and society. Uh, you're here promoting it. You're here promoting whoredom. No, you're, you're here you're promoning women. Because you literally can't stand on your You're here promoting and advocating that women should have a We would actually be having dialogue, which is why you're just going on a rant, because you can't keep but you're promoting all of these things, Kenzie. So you destroy so your argument if you again. Over your own, if you can hear over your own voice, um, I'd love to be able to get a point in here, which is that by we'll talking my about the negative, one second, by talking about the negative impacts <laughs> and I need of these, these given items, you're positing that the opposite would be better, right? And all we're saying is that an individual knows better what is best for themselves than the government or yourself. Right, I know who I want to have intercourse. Will you? You just right? said something, you and I, I know you were talking, but I was absolutely not listening right? to you. Could no you start over from the start? Who I have intercourse. Could you start with, over right? on the start? I wasn't listening to you. I'm sorry. Thank you. So Shocker. by suggesting, by talking about the negative impacts, Kenzie, right, shut up. You just got destroyed. You are positive what are you do? that the opposite, right, would be better. Right. And what we're saying is, especially when we're talking about in, in incredibly personal and intimate things such as intercourse, pregnancy, I know best who I want to have intercourse with. And no one else other than me knows who best I would have intercourse with. Lots of people, few people, this person, that person. Right. So someone making that decision for me would be wrong because it's disrespecting who would know best. Right. All we're saying is this applies universally to our body. I know best how to use my body and you don't know better than me how to use my body. And the I only agree way with that you would well, be able to make that claim. Is I agree with you. Selfish. Or yeah. So I agree with you. I agree with you. So that's what we should do. That's what we should do. Abortion is hold on, Will. Done. Will, hold on, Will. You just said that people have the right to do with their bodies what they will because they know what's best for their bodies. So when a person wants to smoke crack, we, if they don't have the money to get these drugs, we should go and facilitate it for them. When a person wants to become no. a serial killer and use their bodies, I just allowed you to speak, sir. Let me speak. You just said yeah. that people know what is better for their bodies and we shouldn't restrict them from doing what is better for them with their bodies. So by your logic, a serial killer is valid. A, a pedophile yeah. is valid. Um, a, a rapist is valid. Um a person who is addicted to drugs it's valid because guess what this is their body so if they want to use their bodies to grade if they want to use their bodies to molest if they want to use their bodies to you know analyze people we should do that because they know what's best for them and i agree no. with you no. so guess what pedophiles are valid murderers are valid rapists are valid molesters are valid Sorry. So I don't believe Everybody that, right? Should be but using if you want to believe that, do what they that, want. That's yours. That's your thing. My Will you just that, said that, Will? You just said that. No, I you just said that. Strong, yes, you did. When I'm with the you just said that, Will. Yeah, that's totally You're just untrue. did that, Will. When I am, when I, so I want to talk, I want to take your point, <laughs> point by point. However cogently we can talk about these Oh things. my God. So Today's a good day. Let's talk about drug use. I believe that you should be able to effectively use whichever drugs you want as long as you can aptly consider sent to them right that's why i mm -hmm. disagree with the full legality of um addictive drugs because they yes and if a pedophile consent, right if a no, pedophile no, 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 Shanta, can consent to harming a child if it's their body we should allow them so when i if i am murdering someone i'm not only affecting my body one second if i'm murdering someone i'm not affecting my body i'm affecting my body will i'm sorry i'm sorry really really quick yeah kick kenzie our muter because she doesn't want me to take this win 
and I need the oh, clips oh, of these people. You are Please. not winning. It's like painfully oh, I embarrassing. Kenzie, I just yeah, saw your argument for you. Like I, I wish you were smart enough to see it. I wish you were. Okay, okay. Can I mansplain a point? Okay. Can okay. I mansplain right now? No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Yo, no. I just wanted to ask talk. Kenzie a question. I want to shift gears a little bit. Kenzie, I was in a live with you, and you were saying how you push your little boys to put makeup on because that's that's cool, that's normal. That's not what, what? I said. That is what you said. You said your little boy watches makeup on. That's not what I said. <laughs> yeah, you did say that. Kenzie. You, don't really you did say that. Do you? So you do you? Are you guys like fans? Are you like? Are you following but me? But Kenzie, around? why are you coming online when people literally saw you in the live saying that? Why do you lie so hard, I'm Kenzie? I'm not. I didn't say that. I don't. You did. Mean I was like, saying you did say that. I don't, I don't need disagree to lie. You. you are misrepresenting you. Oh my, God, my she's statement. She's such a liar. You are intentionally doing it. I'm not. In I was literally in a live with you yesterday. Like it's not like I, I know. So I'm fully aware of the live, and I'm fully so aware of so, what I said. You are so, strawmanning it because so what did you say? you what did you, you, say? you genuinely know you're being disingenuous. I'm I said not, that my factual. what did you say? You no, aren't being factual because I did not. You. You, you said people that saw you. I, you said that I push my boys to use makeup. Yes. You think I you're like, one that's son. normal? I have one up. son. I do not have two. So right there is infactual. You Number two, push your, you I your said son to wear makeup that my son, you know, in, the chat, you wait, 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 in, makeup. in the chat, in the chat, he did say that you did push your son. He didn't say, he didn't say sons. He said son. That you That's why I repeated myself, and I and again uh, I, I didn't I'm say that I pushed not, my I'm son to do makeup. This, I'm just, I'm just I have that. you are engaging in this. No, I'm not. <laughs> you can't that. engage in this and say that I'm not engaging in this. Like the next okay, sentence. Well, okay, well, wait, I'm engaging in it because that's what he said. And then he that's came on here and said something it. different. Yeah, that's just, why no, I repeated I didn't. it. She said so that said it's normal. She said it's normal for her little boy to put makeup on because he watches mommy put makeup I on. I didn't so say that him. either. Yeah. You I said you that but also, that but also, but also I and that he has I'm an interest in makeup. Like, oh, that is what I said. Yeah. Yeah. You said Kenzie, stop laughing. I don't care, Shanta. You are so disingenuous and literally you don't have the intellect to like actually even have dialogue. Stop it, okay. Mackenzie. Stop it, Mackenzie. Stop well, lying. You're an you old woman. Stop? What are you going to do? Stop Listen, lying. I said boys. I meant to say boy. I meant to say boy. Relax. Respect. I put it in yeah. the comments as boy. Like, yes, I misspoke. I'm, I'm I said fine. Boys by I'm fine. I clearly okay, I stated what, what, what I said. I want to hear what Will said. What did you say, Will? No, I was just I was just stating a matter of fact. He's corrected himself. I just want honest, genuine dialogue. It seems Kenzie and Right Corner are attempting to do that, and I'd love to see it. Oh, okay. So I was right. asking Kenzie, why do you think that that's normal, that your little boy can put makeup on? I didn't use the term normal. I yeah, said okay. that I don't restrict you him understand. for something that he has interest in. You said it's completely normal, Kenzie. You did say it's But you're trying normal. to normalize abnormal behavior for little boys. To put makeup on is abnormal. For little by boys. What, by what measure? By what measure? By how how gender what? roles have been okay. for literally thousands of years. And you're trying to say years. that this is different now. And I want to raise my boys different than how boys have been raised for literally so, thousands again, of years. Again, you, you now are presenting like an is ought fallacy that because it has been this way, that's because this is how it is. This is how it ought to be. It, that's well, I fundamentally untrue. agree with how gender roles have been. You fundamentally disagree right. with it. But also, also, I don't that, that think that we need to gender have, things. Since the founding of makeup, it has switched back from women, the concept of makeup. And we can actually see this in ancient traditions and views I think, I think what and, and he points to is that. the feminization of boys. I think that's what he's trying to Right? Yeah, I know. I just want to recognize the truth, which is that makeup, right, has switched between a norm for men to women and back again multiple times throughout those thousands of years since its creation. It actually, in its very beginning, um, men used it primarily to increase blush on their cheeks. Um, so it, it isn't inherently anything. You're talking maybe within the past 150, 200 years in America, the Western world specifically, we have seen an increased rise of association with makeup with women. And, and we just want to recognize the truth. of and That's not very historically backed. Um, and I actually want to note my opinion. Which it's I not historically backed. 
ask your mom if she wore makeup and then ask well, her my mom, mom if she wore makeup history, and then ask right? that mom if she wore makeup and she, literally, she literally, literally just presented years. so many different talking points to you we can look at different cultures where men wear makeup especially like in japan we can look at different periods like the renaissance where kings as well as royal people wore makeup like you you're literally just taking the context that is beneficial to you you're cherry picking history and even if I were to concede yep. that you were correct, again, you have to substantiate and ground why, because this is what it is, therefore it ought to be, because you're just presenting to me. Kenzie, why do you want to feminize your boy? Kylo, why did you I mean? don't. You do. You're feminizing you do, your boy by letting him do I'm what not, is generally I am only not, done by women. I am not restricting something that he has interest in. He has interest in putting makeup as a of little boy out. Yes. Of course you're not going to stop him. No, why Why would I? I he have is interest an interest in wearing makeup as a little wants boy. To what? Express, yeah, what are, you, what are you talking about? Don't you paint your nails? You know who no. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I had interest in wearing, like, like, like um, that's heels and shit. Like, this is dumb. Yeah, this cadence also, guy for everyone the in the is, chat is a guy correct. that claims it, it to be conservative. Back. If I go back, like, six long generations, nails, like, they associated with fuck. makeup with men. Y'all, y'all, this whole panel knows me. That's what's up. Um, I, I was know. really just talking to the feminist. I was just talking to Kenzie. I don't really give a fuck about the receiver. I'm a feminist as well. This cadence guy says, bring back talks. Or, no, this guy, cadence guy says, bring back whoa, masculine whoa, men, whoa, and you wear long whoa, painted whoa. nails. Whoa, cadence, cadence. What's the beef between me and you? No, well, you're not on the panel. That's you. you oh, the... okay. I was like, what did I do? All right, go ahead. No, nah, it, was, it was me against three. Oh, you know, okay. usual, usual behavior. That's the only way they they like to all do right. it. They know singled right. out that you know it goes differently. You chose. First of all, you chose to come up on this panel. And second of all, you literally debate people that disagree. I mean, with you I didn't even know that you guys knew me. Y'all are my fans. I only knew. I only well, knew. The well, I debated you. I debated you. And the only reason the I remember you is because Malcolm came on right me. after me. And, and, so and like, all, talking <laughs> like, I'm talking to the feminist, the one that wants to feminize her, her son. You're feminizing yourself, my dude. You paint your nails. Yeah. Like, what are you talking Bro, about? Bro, I don't know who you are. I can't, not I can't address you. Sir, like, I don't know it who is you not are. my. You I, I have no agenda when it comes to feminizing or mascul masculating, uh, excuse me, masculizing my son. I just don't restrict things that he has interest in. I don't confine him to a social gender norm based wait. on a construct that you guys can't ground. Wait, wait Corner, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Are you with or against Kinsey? Because, okay, so- Oh, yes, he's but, against, but, he's very toxic. I'm the only- I'm under. toxic, I'm misogynistic, because... whatever you want to call me. I was a little confused because I, no, I'm okay. not with Kenzie. I'm saying that Kenzie wants to fundamentally change how gender roles have been for hundreds of years, and I disagree with that. I I don't and see don't the purpose of gender roles because he paints his nails, right? Yo, I've seen Cadence on lives like we need to bring back masculine men, and he has his long fingernails painted. Like, what are you talking about, my boy? Like, what? Also, yeah, would, also, would Porter, you why say... do you why do you align with this particular? American Western social construct within the past 150, 200 years and not the British construct currently of makeup being worn by lawyers, for example, in court or judges in court or the African traditional um, style of painting your face or changing the look of your face to do that or indigenous tribes in, or indigenous peoples of ireland who painted their face as well right or indigenous tribes of america because i'm none of paint. those things i live in the united states exactly. and if you go so to the united kingdom your culture is morally better than all other ones if you go to the united kingdom you think a bunch of dudes are walking around with makeup in the united kingdom dude? in like, court yes oh, oh in court and, yeah, and that we was have actors specific, in hollywood no, that, that wear the makeup specific, that isn't that was the specific point that I went to, right? I said, in this particular culture, right, they are doing this particular thing. In other cultures, they are doing this particular thing. And there's some by other cultures that are that cannibalistic. Kinsley, there are some by, other cultures that are cannibalistic. No, I know. That I and by be suggesting... But this is your argument, bro. Do you not see culture, that? You are implying that theirs is morally incorrect, right? Which would be inherently Eurocentric, right? It would be, like... Def definitively culturally supremacist, which I don't think is necessarily I'm a not, thing that we all no, do. No, I think that the gender norms in the United States, the way it's been in most of the Western world, is I, I agree with how it's been for hundreds of years in the Western world. Like, there's many cultures. Some cultures are cannibalistic. That doesn't mean that I, I obviously disagree with that. You want right, to so we're asking you to substantiate why your culture is better.
tribes do that and it's a it's a form of masculinity to get a wife to choose them it's a it has nothing to do with feminine femininity nothing no, at all that's that's to do with that's femininity. Actually that's the point. Point. impressive that's what i said you know Shanta, that was yeah but it's not point. makeup it's Sometimes pain, pain it's pain africans paint their bodies all the time exactly Right. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. That's but exactly what country point. are we living in right now? What country? I'm in the United yes, States. Again, that's yes. just in, 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 in our culture, in our culture, right in the states, makeup is used for women. It's a feminine thing to do. So each culture has their different concept of what masculinity is and what femininity is. So given the fact that we're not in Africa and we're here in America, we should go by what the social norms of masculinity is in this country. We should adorn, yeah. adorn yeah. ourselves okay. by it because it has helped us to, to establish who we are and what we are as a nation. Why does Feminized men do nothing to... By where you are? Can I ask Kenzie a quick question? What is, this, what is the impact of, of feminine men on society? What great impact do feminine men have on society? That depends on which characteristics you assign to feminine and masculine. No, I just asked you a question. Can you tell me the, what, right. what in he's your asking view? You to, what? Like, he's asking no, you to expand on no, the answer of your question, question because like, we can answer it. Like, you come on. cannot answer Dude, a question with Shanta. a question. She, she literally what provides nothing is, to this conversation. What is the benefit of feminized men to society? I'm waiting on the answer. I mean, let's see. I, let's talk about gay men specifically, because hey, well, um, I know that gay men are stereotypically more feminine. We achieve higher in cases of academics. Um, we right. have, on average, higher incomes, right? We have, on average, higher efficiency in inter-friends um, um, relationships, right? Mm-hmm. And when, when you control... Paint their nails. Hold on. Hold on. You just answered the question. You answered the question. Thank you for answering. So you're saying that gay men are a monolith. You're saying that gay men are a monolith and that all gay men say, yes, girl. How are you, girl? Walk around in thongs, wear makeup, have pink hair, painted nails, in booty shorts. You're saying that gay men are a monolith. So, Not what I so said, you, so I'm asking you again, right, wait, what Shanta, is the benefit of feminized men in society? Shanta, I didn't ask you, you about gay men, I asked lying. you about feminized men. This Answer the question. Here. You said something that is blatantly false. Shan- um, Will, I just asked you, what are the benefits of no, gay men in society, of feminized men in society? And, then, and then you said, I'm going to speak specifically for gay men. And then you gave me all these things that gay men do. So I'm asking you if you think that gay men are a monolith and that all gay men wear booty shorts, paint their nails, have multicolored hair. Me, and you they you said what so you think, but I asked you, what impact do feminized yeah, men have so in society? And then you went right to gay men. I talk about averages. Shanta, I don't talk about monolithics because that would be. So I'm going to ask you again. I'm going so to Shanta, ask you again. You what is the benefit so of feminine men on the society? Do you want an answer? I just wanted what to know. What is the benefit of feminized men in society? Answer the question. She literally provides nothing to the conversation. She adds nothing to this conversation. Why would I but keep on average, what is the benefit of feminine I just told you why. Oh, she literally provides nothing. Feminine are more feminine. Okay, so on average, gay men are more feminine. And you said that. Hold on. You said, oh, what, what is the percentage of gay men? What? In this country. What is the percentage I mean, you, of gay men can, in this country? You can, you can observe a, like an observable fact that on average gay men are will, feminine. Will, what is the percentage of gay men in this country? Uh, that actually depends by how you uh, measure it. I I understand the fact that um, All right, the queer people was... in general um, are Christ. about 17% openly in, in America. And then within my generation, they're oh, about queer person. I didn't ask you about queer. I'm asking you about gay. I don't know the particular Daniel, Daniel, one. Are you, off, are you opposition? Um, I okay, disagree. so we'll have no I'm, arguments. We'll have no arguments. Yes. We'll have nothing to say about okay. anything. So there is no great impact on society where, where right. feminine men are concerned. If so he has to go to the queer route and he has to go to the gay route. He cannot tell me what are the benefits of society that gay men bring because there is none. Because there is none. 
feminine men do not contribute to society in any great way, shape, or form. It actually Chantal, dismantles society. It dismantles what everything society has built and established where masculine men have, have, have built up with this nation. Chantal, masculine men correct. build this nation. Masculine men protect this nation. Feminized men aren't lining up in droves to go into the army to protect this nation. So they do You'd absolutely nothing to make this nation better. Oh, absolutely Kenzie, nothing. Kenzie, Kenzie left, y'all. I didn't kick Kenzie out. She left herself yeah so Sean, yeah i have to go hello, too guys hello, amen i'm hello. gonna start my um, life all right shiloh um yeah. i'm gonna all right Bye. whatever yeah I'm love me girl Hey, you, oh, they see that man there up here, so he, he justifies what John Money did. I have a clip on him, um, Joe. I'm going to send care. it to you. Go that no big, that big gorilla Go up away. there. Up at the top. I don't care about Yeah, the big gorilla up Daniel, there. He justified what John Money did. He justified what he did. I have the clip. I have the clip of him just, saying that yeah. what John Money did wasn't wrong. this conversation. Goodbye. Yeah, the can gorilla you, up at the top, Daniel. Goodbye. Daniel the gorilla. Can I, can I please? Can I, can I? Can I? Hi. How's is it that going? true? I'm Daniel. That's true? Yes, my name is Dan. Yes. I'm no, no, no. Yeah, no. I have the clip. I have the clip. I wouldn't lie on him. I have the clip. If you United want States, it, I can send it United to you. United States Army. Retired. Yeah, no, please send it to me. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah, he justified what John Money did to children no. by, by sexualizing no, them and no, putting no, up no, their bodies. Nope. Send me the clip. Nope. Can we hear what Daniel has to say, though? Like, for real, for real? Okay. I don't know how to leave, Joe. I'm trying, but it's not alone. Could you kick it, please? Bye -bye. Yeah, I got you. Please, goodbye. How's it going? Um, I'm. Dr. Daniel Harper, United States Army, retired Lieutenant Colonel. Um, I'm, I'm just here because I'm trying to, I am part of the opposition. I do disagree with much of the stuff that's up there, but it's cool. We can have a discussion. The only things that I keep saying is a, a humongous amounts of uh, like serious, like blind spots. For example, the assertion she was making regarding feminized men don't make any contributions. Well, Al Alexander of Macedonia would kind of disagree. All right. Conquered the entire known world. It was basically, you know, basically is the reason for most of Western civilization's knowledge. Alexandria, Alexandretta, literally, if you, if you, most of the West, the Western and the East, he basically bridged the gap of knowledge and, and imported so much. Then the idea that the military doesn't happen. The actual sniper on my old special forces team was a guy, uh, a, a, an effeminate gay man, Puerto Rican guy named Alan Crespo. All right, but wait, hey, wait, make no contributions. Before you, before she just continue, has stereotypes. Wait, wait, wait. Before you continue, the whole conversation that just occurred before um, they left, I have nothing. I have nothing to say about that. I don't have an opinion <laughs> on that, so I can't really have a debate on that. Like femi feminized men, okay. I don't have that. I don't have a set opinion on that, so I don't really want to debate that. So if you want to talk about anything on the board, that's that's fine. But it, it just kind of like uh, weirded me out a little bit. Do you agree with what John Money was doing and what he advocated for? I'm just no, making sure. Not at all. Not at all. Oh. I think that he was a monster, but she lied about the details. That was the okay. issue. I don't, when we I, had okay. the discussion, I pointed out that she couldn't understand his methodology whatsoever, and she was lying about the details. And I explained it to her, showed it to her, even gave citations. And then she just did that thing that she does, where she just tries to steamroll and say that you're monologuing. You're monologuing. You're monologuing. And then I literally spoke for eight seconds. Right corner. She went on I, a five minute I, rant. I'm going to get some new guests in because I didn't get a chance to talk to Will and um, I'm trying to cycle because there's a lot of people in the queue. So I don't want to keep people on here too long. So I'm going to try to get any as many people as possible in the live. All right. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I, OK. Um, the one that I would probably want to go to is I want to as a doctor, I'd like to understand, like to know what is the issue with children under 18 being able to go on puberty blockers? Mm hmm. Um, so uh, so my thing is, I feel like children under the age of 18 and puberty blockers is um, abuse because I feel like they haven't really gotten a chance to experience, like, you know, decide what they truly. And I honestly, I want to go as far as to say, I don't even think people, people under 25 should take them, but I'm not going to say they shouldn't because, you know, like. 18 is my standpoint, but 25, your brain starts, stops developing. That's when it's fully yeah, developed and you can fully, you can fully decide what you want to do and who you want to be. And that's perfectly fine. And which kind of defeats the purpose of, um, hormone blockers, which is why I said, I got to stand at 18 because there will be no purpose at 25 to keep taking them. Right. So, well, 
Why can't I see yeah. you guys' boxes? I see that you guys are in the live, but I can't see you. Gay, leave You probably have to reset, like, like, turn off guest requests, then turn them back on. Because there's, no there. there's no issue whatsoever. Once you come off puberty, block, off the puberty blockers, you then have a regular, a regular normal, whether you're at, at 25, 26, even as high as 30, in your 30s, you'll just have a normal, basically the same sort of puberty as you would have. If anything, it'll be much more aggressive. That's about it. 